Today, I turned a $120 paper shredder into a plastic shredder that can recycle my useless 3D prints into reusable plastic. Let's get into it. Okay, so uh, this is a shredder that I took apart. I believe it's a 12 sheet. I've tested it very nicely. And I've also selected this specific one because it was a micro cut. So it would give me smaller chips. Now it's not as micro cut as they said they were. Hashtag false advertisement. But good enough. But my plan is to actually take this whole thing apart. And well, not the whole printer apart. No, thank you. Actually, is this metal? Now that I think of it, I probably should take the whole thing apart, remove the safety guard that prevents the teeth, because all it looks like is just a spacer. So I just gotta remove that, remove all this unnecessary crap, make my own planetary gear drive that increases the torque, because this is good, but not good enough. Okay, so I uh, managed to take off the whole thing. We got the oh, control board. Safety switches right here. Oh, apparently another one. And here's the power. Boom. All right. So my idea is to kind of take all this part, this part off, and just have this. But I'm curious to how they set it up. So it's Wacky Wednesday, I couldn't find the identical ones, lovely, I think I had one of each, and that's it. So, uh, reminder, buy myself more gloves. Now to cut this out, I first used these cutaway discs. But they broke easily and were no match against the melting plastic. So I tried using a drill bit, but that didn't work because it took too long. So I switched to a metal cutting disc and it was great. But another thing that was holding the pieces together were the teeth. So I removed them and sadly I had to use my beautiful carpentry chisel because nothing else would fit into the slots. So. <sighs> Now we're talking. Hey, <laughs> let's go. Would this be difficult for anyone trying to recreate it? I mean, uh, don't recreate it. It's uh, for educational purposes. Boom, broke off. Uh, gonna break that one off, and there you go. Let me just. Now it's a little bit squeezable. Yeah. After verifying that everything me meshed, ugh. after verifying that everything meshed together, I went on to put the metal casing around it with the motor and gearbox. My next plan is to design a full body for it, so I can have the electrical circuit and the body so it can hold up the shredder itself instead of using the whole shredder bin with it because it's just an annoying thing that I don't want. So after nine excruciating hours of 3D printing, I've finally gotten the beautiful funnel. Now an issue came with uh, only two screws being here. This thing started to wobble. But, nothing to other screws at a diagonal angle couldn't fix. So, it's not really bad. So now, it'll just feed into this. And, yeah. Alright, so, 
I've completed the box. All I gotta do is screw it into the base, but I do want to show you one quick thing, how I set this whole thing up. Oh. Basically, it's very simple. If you look over here, this is the power in. I've basically cut off the whole thing. I cut all of them off. I desoldered all the connections just so I could kind of organize it nicely. So first of all, I snapped this sucker in. I soldered this line one. Um, sorry, uh, I'm not sure which one is which, but one of them is hot and one of them is neutral. Now, I'm not sure, but it doesn't really matter because it's AC and it's going into the same place, basically. Also, if you're wondering how I got such beautiful wire management skills, I shoved all the wires inside the electrical box. Yeah. Also... I mounted the control board on top because that's where it was the most convenient, okay? Cool. Okay, so we have this lovely thing. We got the switch, right? We got the control up here, and we got the power main power on. Oh, well, there's already crap coming out of it. So the issue that I suspected would happen is that the shredder gets jammed teeth wise like too many things or too strong of 3d prints can cause it to get stuck and i'll have to press reverse so i can kind of pull the print out and then redo it again but i've also noticed that 10 wall infills or like around that thickness just won't go through the shredder so i'll have to cut them up manually into small bits just so i could put them through the shredder until I upgrade it with a better gearbox or a better motor. We'll see what comes first. Anywho, I'm going to stop talking, so enjoy the cutting process. That's really nice. So I've gotten them to be really small and I think that's the smallest they could get without me having to run this a million times to get them this fine. But I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for the next video which will be about melting this plastic and turning it into a spool. So see you in the next one.